A North Fargo neighborhood is still shaken up after the Red River Valley SWAT team and Fargo police were called out for what they called a domestic disturbance. Police have blocked off streets near the 300 block of 19th Street North for about seven hours this morning using multiple flash bangs and SWAT negotiations. Officers say the suspect is 41-year-old David Alvardo Suarez of Fargo. The warrant was served by the Red River Valley SWAT team, but officers couldn't find him. They eventually made contact with Suarez, only to find out he was in Grand Forks. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley is live in North Fargo and has more on what exactly unraveled today. Bailey? Thanks, Andrea. It all started early this morning around 5 a.m. in this little white house here on 19th Street North in Fargo. Now, police were called for a domestic abuse call and they brought in all the reinforcements. I talked with neighbors in the area and they say that around 4 this morning, they heard a really loud noise and they didn't know if it was either a car door slam or a gunshot. They say about an hour later, police had swarmed the whole block and that they weren't allowed in or out of their neighborhood. But now I talked with the woman who police say is the victim in this incident, and she says that her neighbors have it all wrong. She says that her and her boyfriend, David Suarez, were just in a verbal argument and that somebody must have heard and called police. She says when police got here, she told them that Suarez wasn't here anymore, so she's not sure why the SWAT team was called in and why they raided her home. She says that her and Suarez are still together and she's not scared of him. She says that she does plan on staying in her home tonight. Now, we also talked with the owner of this home, Pete Sabo. He says that Suarez and his girlfriend have just recently moved in this house, only living here for about a week. I tend to give people who need a place to live a break. And most of them appreciate it. Most of them pay the rent on time and take care of the place. And some of them continue with their old ways. It's kind of discouraging. It's very discouraging. We just finished painting the entire house, recarpeting it. Sabo says that he doesn't think he's going to continue to allow Suarez and his girlfriend to continue living in this home, especially after what unraveled here today. Reporting live in North Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. All right, thanks, Bailey. Suarez is wanted for aggravated domestic and terrorizing charges. If you have any information on where he is, you can call police right away.